thank you very much for kind introduction, uh, Professor Ikeda. Uh, it is my great honor uh, to have an opportunity to make a presentation here. Uh, good, good morning. So I'd like to make a presentation uh, today. Uh, the economic cost for greenhouse gas emission reductions and the load toward deep emission reductions. Okay. First, I'd like to talk about the introduction. Uh, climate change is one of the most important issues to be tackled in the world. Uh, climate change damages uh, can be very uh, serious and greenhouse gas emission uh, should be reduced deeply. However, the amounts of, uh, of danger, uh, danger, uh, damages are still uncertain. Uh, we need to have a good strategy to manage uncertain climate change risks in the real world, having multiple objectives and highly uh, diverse across countries. Toward uh, the COP21 of the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, UNFCCC, on December 2015 in Paris, uh, most of the member countries have submitted the INDC's intended nationally determined contribution, uh, which include emission reduction targets and uh, activities to the UNFCCC's secret date. However, many studies uh, indicate that the expected global uh, GHG emission in, is not in line with the emission pathways for the two degrees target with high probability of the achievement even if the submitted uh, IMDCs are aggregated. The question is, uh, how should we achieve deep cuts of global GHG emissions through global energy transformation. Okay, uh, before I address, uh, before my talk uh, on the economic cost of uh, energy uh, uh, transformations, I'd like to talk about uh, uh, the uh, evidence of the climate change uh, host, or host some uh, uh, data. Uh, according to the IPCC's uh, report, uh, this, is, uh, this is a picture from the IPCC uh, recent report. Uh, this picture shows the historical atmospheric CO2 concentration and surface ocean uh, pH. Uh, the above figure shows the CO2 concentration uh, before the uh, pre-industrial. Uh, pre uh, the concentration is about 275, but uh, currently uh, about uh, 400 ppm. So IPCC said uh, concentrations of CO2, uh, CH4, and uh, M2O now substantially exceed the highest concentration recorded in ice uh, cores during the past uh, 800,000 years. The pH of ocean surface water has decreased by 0 0.1 uh, since the beginning of the in industrial era. So, uh, as you can see here. Okay. Next, uh, this figure shows the historical global mean temperature change. IPCC also says uh, warming of the climate systems is uh, an equivocal, and since the 1950s, many of the observed changes are unprecedented over decades to millennia. The global average combined land and ocean surface temperature data, as calculated by a linear record, show a warming of 0.85 degrees Celsius over the uh, period of 1880 to 2012. It is extremely likely that the human interfere uh, in influence ha has been the dominant the cause of the observed warming since the mid to, uh, 20th century. So, uh, this table shows the uh, concentration levels uh, and uh, gl global mean temperature change in 2100 
and the probability of, to achieve the uh, targeted temperatures and also a global GHG emission reductions by, uh, in 2050 levels. So uh, two degrees target is not a scientific target, but a policy target in the internationally. And uh, for example, two degrees target, if we achieve uh, exceed uh, about 66 percent uh, achievability, uh, we need to uh, reduce the 72 to 41 percent uh, global GHG emissions by 2050. And also, uh, for uh, the if we consider the achievability, uh, achievability of about uh, 50 percent we need to uh, reduce the GHG emissions uh, by uh, 57 to 25 uh, percent, yeah, as you can see here. So we need to require uh, deep emission reductions by 2050 if we achieve the two degrees target. So uh, it, this video showed the uh, global emissions by sector for or hot, uh, about 450 ppm, uh, which consistent with the almost uh, two degrees target with uh, achievability of uh, uh, about 66 percent. So as you can see here, if we if uh, CCS is un available, uh, the least cost emission reduction measures measures uh, as you can see here. So. Uh, this is a transportation sector and the building sector and industry sector and uh, electricity sector and uh, land use change and also a non-CO2 GHG emission reduction. So uh, this is uh, 2030 and 2050 and 2100. If we uh, reduce, uh, if we achieve the 450 ppm, uh, in electricity sector, uh, CO2 emissions will be uh, is required to be negative uh, in this uh, 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 whole this target. That means uh, we need to uh, have uh, we need to have uh, biomass uh, energy with CCS. CCS means carbon capture and storage. Uh, so. In this case, we ha need to have a large scale of biomass e energy with CCS. Uh, if if uh, CCS is in available uh, here, we need to uh, have a large scale, very large scale of uh, afforestation is required to achieve this target. So, but. Uh, in both cases, the impact of food security and prices through land conflict cause concern uh, due to the large scale of biomass or uh, afforestation. Uh, more realistic solutions, considering other socioeconomic aspects, will be required in energy transformation for 450 people. So, uh, next I'd like to uh, talk about the uh, INDCs uh, of some major countries. Uh, that means uh, to, uh, would like to, uh, uh, the, uh, uh, this is uh, submitted to the UNFCC and uh, discussed in Paris uh, ne next month. Uh, oh no, the end of this month and also uh, next month. Uh, Japanese government submitted the, the IMDCs, 26% uh, reductions from 2013 uh, for 2030 uh, uh, here. And for example, the US uh, submitted the, the IMDC, the 26 to 28 percent from 2005 level in 2025. And the uh, EU 
submitted the 40% reduction target from 1990 to 2030. And also, Russia is here, and China. China had submitted the INATCs or CO2 intensity target. But uh, this is combat, uh, can be converted to the uh, emissions. So uh, for uh, 2030, uh, 120 is uh, 130, about 130 to 100 increase uh, compared to the 2005. This is a large increase of the CO2 emissions <coughs> in China, even if uh, this target is uh, achieved. Uh, but also, uh, if we compare the 2030, uh, 2013 uh, levels, uh, Japan is 26% reduction target, but uh, US is uh, 18 to 21%, and the EU is uh, 24%. Okay, so uh, this is the uh, outlook of global GHG emissions of the aggregate IMDCs, uh, uh, which is submitted uh, by 100, uh, this is uh, just only aggregated for 119 countries, uh, but just only, uh, but, but just uh, almost covered all the IMDCs uh, so far. And uh, the corresponding emission pathways uh, toward two, two degrees goals. This uh, black solid line shows the uh, baseline emissions, uh, baseline emissions uh, reported in the IPCC AR5. Uh, this is the uh, uh, average number, average pathways. And the uh, uh, dotted uh, line shows the our estimate of the uh, for the baseline emissions, uh, global emissions. But the uh, red line shows the aggregate INDC's emission pathways. And uh, uh, also, we, we, uh, you can see the several uh, emission pathways. Uh, this is uh, two degrees goals, but uh, with high probability of uh, for achievement. And uh, but uh, there are another uh, other lines, as you can see here. But uh, this line can be uh, achieved uh, to degrees goals. But uh, this is uh, around two to two point five goals, and this is two two point five to three degrees goals. Uh, but uh, uh, the uh, submitted IMDCs is here, so there are large gaps between the. Uh, blue line uh, and uh, red uh, IMDC's uh, outlook. But uh, uh, in this, uh, the expected temperature change in 2100 is now to uh, plus two to plus three degrees uh, Celsius from pre-industrial levels. The range uh, depends on the uncertainties of climate sensitivities and of future deep emission reductions through developments and deployments of innovative and low-cost technologies uh, in after, the two, after 2030. Okay, uh, so uh, I would like to talk about the emission reduction cost for different levels of CO2 emission, uh, CO2 concentration. This figure also uh, come from the IPCC AR5. Uh, this is a CO2 marginal abatement cost uh, here. So uh, this is the uh, 430 to four, uh, 530 ppm CO2 equivalent target. As you can see here, the marginal abatement cost uh, is around 130, uh, 130, is, uh, sorry, 300 US dollar per ton CO2 in 2050 and uh, around 1,000 to 3,000 uh, US dollar per ton CO2 in 2100, according to the IPCC report. This is the ensemble of the several uh, modeling, uh, modeling analysis. So, uh, as you can see here, it will be very challenging to achieve deep emission levels of emission reductions. 
So technology innovations with widely accepted costs are necessary for deep, uh, such deep emission reduction targets. So uh, this is the image of standard scenarios for deep emission cats. Uh, some uh, many people uh, talk uh, talk to the uh, deep emission reductions. We need to increase uh, carbon prices uh, to, to the future, but uh, this uh, this situation is, is very unrealistic in the real world. So we need to uh, uh, we need to uh, uh, deep emission reductions, but we need to also. Uh, keep the low carbon prices to uh, achieve uh, such emission reductions in the real world. So we need to have uh, uh, more uh, low carbon prices uh, technologies. So we need to develop uh, innovative technologies uh, for the future to achieve the deep emission cuts. So Japanese government uh, proposed the uh, Environment and Energy Technology Innovation Plan. This is uh, proposed by uh, proposed two years ago. So uh, Japan contrib uh, contributes to tackling global em uh, warming and energy issues through the development and diffusion of innovative technologies in order to achieve the target of halving global emissions by 2050. So uh, Japanese government have. Uh, 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 three uh, key, uh, key factors. The first is specific uh, innovative technologies. Uh, and the second is uh, enhancing policy measures for technology development. And the third one is enhancing policy measures for international deployments and diffusions. So uh, this is a, a, a Environment, Energy, Technology, Innovation Plan, and the Technology Development and Diffusion toward having Global uh, GHG Emissions by 2050 image. Uh, Japanese government uh, identifies uh, uh, 37 uh, innovative techno uh, important key technologies and uh, develop a roadmap for the each uh, technologies. But uh, some technologies is uh, uh, not uh, spe uh, <coughs> isolated technology, but uh, all, most of the technologies uh, have uh, interaction uh, with, uh, among the technologies. So uh, this is the outlook of global GHG emissions and having uh, emission reductions by 2050. Uh, so uh, 2005 is here, but uh, if uh, technology flows in case, uh, potential emissions increase toward uh, 2050 is about once, uh, so, uh, 100 gigaton CO2, uh, but uh, we need to reduce uh, drastic emission reductions from here to here. Uh, almost one, uh, one fourth uh, will be required. required. So uh, this is a cost-effective uh, emission reduction uh, measures for halving uh, CO2 emission re reductions. There are no silver bullet technologies, so we need to uh, use uh, several technologies to reduce uh, deep emission uh, reductions. But uh, for example, uh, power sector, uh, CCS technologies, uh, energy efficiency improvement in uh, electricity sector, nuclear, uh, wind power, photovoltaics, and also uh, uh, we need to uh, reduce uh, uh, large emission reductions in the uh, transportation sector, etc., etc. So, uh, so next I would like to show you the uh, some uh, key technologies and uh, particularly for the uh, systems uh, measures uh, such as uh, hydrogen uh, measures, hydrogen measures, and also uh, uh, load transportation uh, measures. So uh, this graph shows the assessment of hydrogen systems for 
coal production in 2050 or 450 ppm scenario. Hard coal production will decrease toward 2050 uh, for 450 stabilization uh, case in most countries, but the lignite production uh, will increase in most countries for hydrogen production. Uh, lignite is uh, cheap uh, energy, but uh, currently dark uh, sources, but uh, uh, compared to the hydrogen, so we need to uh, have uh, opportunity to uh, use uh, this uh, resources. So uh, this graph shows the electricity generation in 2050. Uh, hydrogen contributes to the global electricity supply for 450. Uh, hydrogen power generation is not observed in Japan even for the 450 with uh, equal marginal abatement costs across world countries. However, if higher marginal uh, abatement cost uh, or strict uh, limit on nuclear is applied for Japan, a certain amount of hydrogen power will be in introduced. And uh, uh, this graph shows the final energy by Huel in 2050. Uh, here is the this is for the world and for Japan, and uh, uh, this is a, here. This graph shows their baseline and 450. Hydrogen contributes also uh, to uh, final energy use, not only in the world but also in Japan, uh, for 450. But uh, uh, yeah, uh, particularly for the uh, load uh, for car use, or et cetera. So finally, I'd like to talk about the uh, 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 mitigation measures in transportation sector. Uh, this uh, picture, I, I'm sorry, uh, Japanese characters including here, but uh, uh, here, uh, this graph shows the welfare loss of traffic jams. Uh, total amount, uh, in Japan, uh, total annual average tra uh, transportation hours is about 100 uh, hours per person. Uh, but uh, about 40 hours are consumed for the traffic jams. So uh, we need to reduce the traffic jams uh, to uh, make a uh, better uh, transportation flows by using uh, ITS or etc. So this is a good opportunity to uh, increase our welfare and also uh, CO2 emission reduction opportunities. So such uh, emission reduction measures is, uh, will be very important to reduce uh, CO2 emissions and also our energy uh, consumption decrease. So uh, this is the example of uh, the high traffic control by using IT. Uh, IT will be able to create better traffic flows through innovative traffic uh, systems. Such technologies will contribute to uh, both CO2 emission reductions and the improvements of uh, labor productivities through reductions of traffic jams. Okay, uh, let me conclude as follows. Uh, climate change is a big issue and should be seriously tackled. Uh, many studies, including our estimate, indicate that the expected global GHG emissions is not in line with the emission uh, pathways for two, uh, two degrees target. Uh, if the achievement is required with high probabilities, if, even if all the submitted INDCs are aggregated. However, in long term, deep emission reductions will be required for stabilizing uh, temperatures at any temperature levels. On the other hand, CO2 emission reduction costs are large, very large, uh, for such deep emission reductions for uh, the, uh, emission reduction scenarios. Wide deployments of all the low carbon technologies will be required, but uh, developments of innovative technologies uh, will be uh, essential. Uh, renewable energies and uh, nuclear power with uh, enhanced safety uh, and carbon dioxide capture and storage CCS uh, play important roles in emission reductions, but uh, in addition to such individual technologies, uh, systematically integrated measures with IT and uh, uh, 
uh, passing the entire hydrogen system uh, example will be also very important. Energy transportation should be pursued by our welfare improvements. We should not forget that we do not uh, need energy themselves, uh, but do need uh, production and services with embodied energies. Thank you very much for your kind attention.